Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Russ with RWGResearch.com. So uh, yeah, my coil winder video, apparently people liked it and shared it and that was awesome. Appreciate that. I uh, basically want to talk about in this video some of the finishing technique on the coils that I created with that coil winder. And uh, also I usually upload videos kind of, you know, very frequently, but recently I've just been overwhelmed with other tasks. So yeah. For you new subscribers, I appreciate you joining, and uh, content will continue um, however I get it out there to you. So I want to walk you through some of the different techniques that I use currently to finish these coils, and then I'm going to also talk about a lot of the recommendations that you guys said, um, one of them which is uh, a really smart idea which I didn't think about. So they make wire with a heat bond coating on it. So you can run a current through the wire and automatically heat bond the wire, then you could peel off the tape. I'm not sure if that would work really well in this application, but that's a great idea. Um, I wonder if they make that that you can paint on, if you know of any paint on thermal bond coating. Um, that's not like a varnish, but an actual like thermal bond. Let me know. So I'm going to run you through here, I'm going to get you a close up and we'll look at all these things. I ended up using a laminator and actually laminating these coils and I really like the way those turned out, but it's kind of difficult to do. So let me show you what I got. Look at the size of that coil. Anyway, that's part of what this project's about. Check out the rest of my videos, you kind of see what I was doing. So I'm gonna start out with this guy. I put tape over this just to cover it up and kind of hold it in place. Um, this coil actually was turning out pretty well, but the tape wasn't, you know, all the way out, and so it was overlapping. But where it did, you know, have these other bends. It actually did fairly well. Um, so far I really like this tacky uh, paper tape over this tape because there's uh, just didn't seem to work quite as well. So I do like this. So here's coil. This coil is just finished on actually it's only got one layer. I gotta wrap another one between there. Just left on the paper so you can kinda see the actual roller curls the wire and it curls the wire in such a way that when you peel it off or you cut the tape it does this. So what I found is if you just roll it over the edge of the table you can kind of flatten it out before you finish the coil. And that works pretty well. Alright, the next coil on the list here is this guy. So this is a finished coil. Um, I could probably tighten up the tolerances. You can still kind of see through that coil, but I can tighten up the tolerances and make it even better. But this just has that regular packing tape on it and you can actually transfer so put packing tape on there and then transfer it off that you can actually do that that does work so um, this is you know just fine for a prototype if you wanted to test the coil there's nothing wrong with just leaving it on the tape basically so here's the next coil I showed this in the other video this is basically just a super glued coil you just put super glue on the top and it actually holds together pretty darn well and it does all right, but um, but the, it does break like the seams. You can see how it, it kind of breaks apart easy, so you got to be careful with it. But it does actually hold together, and that's a solution that could be used. That's pretty easy to do. Just slop some super glue on there. So the next coil, what I did is I took some uh, red varnish, and this is actually electrical varnish, and I went and I sprayed the coil. You can see how it didn't soak all the way through the coil. It's kind of coppery on this side and red on this side. What I found out, which you'll see in this video right here, is that basically the um, solvent that's in the spray can dissolved the sticky stuff on the tape, released it from the tape, and just made a giant mess. Well, I tried to put it on real thick, and the tape didn't stick anymore. So my coil fell off. So yeah, super glue seems like the better method. So this one I really, really, really lightly sprayed, and then I was able to peel it off. Then I could probably coat it a little bit better. But when you add more coatings and it's really, really thick, because you can see it's not very thick, so it doesn't stick together very well. So if it's really thick, it basically dissolves this again, and it's really, really hard to get right. And this is not a good solution from my experience. So the next one on the list is this guy. Now what I decided to do is just get two-part epoxy, mix the epoxy, and then smear the epoxy on top of the coil. That actually worked pretty darn good. This is the bottom side. This is the side with the uh, 
You can see it there, the epoxy. But you can see in certain spots like here, it didn't stick together very well. And you really got to get it coated in order for that to, to hold together really well. So it's not really robust, but you can remove the tape this way. And it does work. Here's another one with epoxy on it. You can see how shiny it is. And then the bottom side's more of a copper. And that actually is, a, is an okay solution. You could probably take it off and then coat this side and it would be fairly good. But I still wasn't quite satisfied with the way that this turned out. So the last and final way that I tried this was actually using some laminating film. So I bought the thinnest film I could find because I wanted it to be very thin. Um, as thin as absolutely possible. And the thinnest I could find is a 1.5 mil thickness laminate. This is a particular brand I use. You can see how thin this stuff is. It is really thin. It doesn't have any real strength to it, so it kind of wants to crinkle and stuff, so you got to be careful. But I got a whole entire roll. It's like 500 feet. And then I can just cut it to the size I need, and I'm good to go. So I used a uh, laminator. I actually hacked this thing to make printed circuit boards with. But basically I used this film and was able to coat some of these coils. So this is what the coils actually look like. This is actually the best one, and I ran this through there a bunch of times and got it super, super hot and really made sure that the laminate like glued into the coil, and that worked really well. Like I'm really satisfied with this. The only problem is, is this is really tricky. This is really hard to get right, and I can show you that by this coil. This is like a finished coil for the device I'm building, and you can see how it's crinkled up here. And you can see it's actually not even stuck to the coil right here. So that's really bad. And what happened is I put the film in at a different direction. So one of them I put this way, and one of them I put this way, and I think it curled. The film just curled because it's so thin. Now you could get the thicker film and probably be just fine. But, um, but I like this because it's really robust. Um, you can't split it, you know, you can't twist this apart and it stays together really nicely. Um, this is what happens when you're paper gets stuck in the laminator. Um, you can see how well that that's held together, but yeah, that's useless. Throw that one off the bench. Here's a round one. So that turned out well. This is actually um, two pieces. I wanted to see what would happen if you had a gap. Actually, you know what? That's actually just tape that I ran through the laminator now that I look at it. That's what that is. That's packing tape ran through the laminator, which worked pretty well. Okay, back to the laminates. So here's a here's two coils. You can see that I had the wire. This is 36, I think, AWG. It's a really small wire. But here, here's a here's a piece. You can't you almost can't see the film when I hold it like this. But basically, you can see the film there, and it really laminated together nicely. And this is a really robust foil coil. You can you know you can bend it up. You can bend it back stays flat. You can bend it into a, a funky shape if you wanted to try to wrap it around something. So I really like this this laminate idea. This one here is actually just super glue. I just bent it up. But you can kind of see the see the difference. The super glue works well. If you were to glue this coil onto your finished whatever, it'd probably be just fine. You can just do it that way, peel it off and glue it when you're in position. But this one, you know, for robust playing around with it and actually getting out in the field with actually just like a sense coil or playing with it or whatever you want to do with it. Laminate seems to work pretty darn well. So that's what I've tried so far. And then like I said, the other idea would be to use some sort of a um, material that would be heat cured uh, with the actual current in the wire. That's a really cool idea and I like that idea. So that's all I got for you right now. Let's jump to the end. All right, well, hopefully those were enough details for you. Um, I still want to make some more videos about this thing and details and all sorts of fun stuff, but uh, not sure when and where or what, but if you'd like to know more about these particular coils and what I'm doing, you'll have to just stick around and watch the channel, and uh, I'll show you eventually when I get to that point. It, it might take me a long time to get there because i got to make a lot of these things. But when I get there, you'll get to see really what I'm doing, and I think it's a really uh, fun and interesting project. Um, and then eventually, the goal would be to make these coils somewhere around two and a half foot in diameter and length. Really big, big coils. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, also, on the topic here, the, the wire 
and how to dispense the wire and, and those type of things. There was lots of good recommendations. I actually have a, a background in web control and um, those type of, of, of things. And so I have a really good reference in my mind of how I want to be able to do that. But I haven't had enough time to actually work through those problems. But there's a, probably a solution out there that'll work. And uh, eventually I'll get to that as well. So thanks for joining. God bless you guys. Have a good day. And read the Bible more. It's always a very key thing to do in my life. And uh, I recommend it to you too. So, all right. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. I look like a kid. I look like a kid? Yeah. Sorry. Why is that so sorry? You wear kids' clothes? Shouldn't you look like one too? I guess so. <laughs>